Okay, in this video we're just going to have a look at the video repair tool on the Panasonic GH6. And this has just come in the latest firmware version, which is firmware version 2.3. And that's come out today, which is the 11th of July 2023. So in, at the time of recording this, that's the latest firmware version. So if you don't have that, you're going to have to update to that version to use this tool. So I'll link up into the corner for the firmware update video that um, I've just done. But you, if you don't have that uh, that firmware version, you're essentially just not going to be able to see this in your options. So if we switch on the camera, and then if we just come into the... Sorry, let me just grab focus on that. There we go. If we jump into um, the playback menu, and under the uh, the scissors which is edit image you can see that we've got repair video so this is great that they've added this into the camera so essentially before it was a kind of uh, like a standalone um, sort of PC bit of software um, which is great to have that software but then for me as a Mac user I've never been able to use it unless I try and run VMs or you know some kind of emulation to get it to work which is just a pain so luckily in the newer cameras the um, the new S5 Mark II, Mark II X they've come with it by default and then it's actually been put into the firmware of the GH6 now which for me is brilliant because now I've actually got access to it and if, if you're kind of wondering why you would need to repair a video it's essentially if the video is um, and it's not closed essentially so when um, the, the video is done when you hit the stop button the, the file sort of wraps itself up and then it, it's a working video file that you can view but if the if the battery gets popped out and I mean it's very unlikely the battery is going to come out of there but let's say we're using external power sources so you might be using the AC10 and the, uh, the power cuts or you might be um, using a dummy battery that drops or let's say you're doing relay recording which um, if you don't understand what that is I'll, I'll link up in the corner but let's say you're doing relay recording and you, you pop the wrong card by accident you're essentially going to end up with a corrupt file that's not written to the camera so and, and that's a real pain because obviously you know whatever footage that is you've just lost so this repair tool essentially allows us to come back in and uh, try and fix sort of the file that didn't close or files that didn't close so as a kind of prerequisite, you need a decent charge battery in there because um, it, it's doing some quite heavy lifting in the camera. So um, it, it's not really something that works for, you know, if you're just shooting tiny little clips, maybe you're doing like a little B-roll section or if you're just shooting like little tiny videos of things, it, it's unlikely that it's going to repair them. They have to be, um, I mean, from my experience, just kind of playing with this, they've got to be over at least sort of 10 15 seconds to even sort of register in the video repair tool and also um, mp4 files can't be repaired in there which it will tell you when you go to try and repair files so um, for me i'm shooting in the mov or, or mov kind of option the whole time so um, it's not really it's not really a problem for me but it's, it's worth kind of bearing in mind so what we'll do is, um, I've already broken <laughs> some files in here already, so all I did was I was just recording, pop a battery out. I mean, I shouldn't need to tell you how to break files, that's that's not really what we're doing, but um, yeah, if we jump into the video repair tool, uh, I did it on the SD card because I, I knew that would be slow to write and that I'd be able to cause an issue on there, so if I jump in, it actually says on there that like, MP4 format files can't be repaired. Um, and then because I've got the broken file, like I say, not all of them will register. If it doesn't, it will just come up and say it can't find any files. Like I say, it's usually short files. I find that that kind of happens with. And it will just say, select the video to repair. You can see this one's only 15 seconds, but it's managed to pick it up. And then we'll hit set. And you can see here, it says the process will take time. Use a USB power supply or the optional DC coupler or DC adapter to proceed. Um, what we could do, um, I'll use the, so I'll plug in my power bank, which, um, I've kind of done a video about which ones work. Um, I can't plug it into the, um, AC10 adapter cause it's actually running the GH6 that's doing this video or the GH5 that's doing this video. 
But um, yeah, it's, I'll leave links to um, to both of those, the AC10 and the power banks that kind of work with this. And I'll also link up in the corner um, sort of videos about both of those things, the AC10 and the power adapter. But as long as really you've got a full charge battery, you should really be okay with this, but it's worth sort of following what they've said. So you can see up here, we've got the power bank charging and we've got a, we've got a decent full battery as well so we'll just hit yes and then you can see it's just going through because this is only a 15 second video it's only going to take a few seconds but let's say you had sort of half an hour of video it's obviously going to be quite a big job so it's worth getting this in and then you can see not a very exciting video but essentially <laughs> that's me popping the battery out of the bottom pretty much so I'm just kind of messing with the camera and then you can see we get to the end and it just ends as it should so it's actually managed to recover like that whole file which is really good I'm quite impressed with that um, it's dropped it's basically just dropped a second from the end which was just a bit where I kind of dropped the battery out of the bottom of the camera and it, it sort of can't close so yeah it's, that's a really nice feature and I'm really glad that that's actually something that's accessible to me now because it's always been one of those things where you, you just actually, you, you needed to either find a PC or like I say, sort of jump through some hoops to try and get it working on a Mac. So it's really nice that they've just made that a thing that you can do in the camera. Um, but yeah, if um, you'll know fairly quickly if it's something you can use or not because um, if you corrupt a file, uh, that screen won't pop up, it'll just sort of say um, this picture cannot be displayed and that's the original message you'd get when you don't have the repair tool but but now with it, it, it just sort of allows you to, um, to jump into that so um, yeah, hopefully you found that helpful if you have, give the video a like if you want to see more content like this then check out the Panasonic GH6 playlist on this channel and um, please subscribe